Huntech Pro is proudly brought to you by Treason Magnum Archery Orpen Weapons Wild Dog 4x4 Accessories Oberhalzer Taxidermy Ultimo Group and Gun Rats Monterra is a privately owned 14,000 acre game ranch in the Limpopo River Valley. The luxurious main lodge can accommodate up to eight people in four ensuite rooms. Either double or twin bed options are available in two of the rooms. The lodge is fully serviced by our team of pleasant housekeepers and catering is seen to by our excellent chef and the lodge manager. Whether you wish to book as a group, family or individual, Montero offers the service and facilities to create a personalized safari in your own special part of Africa. So Johan, here we are again at Montero, our family ranch, you know, 14,000 acres on the Limpopo River, doesn't get much better than this wildest part of South Africa and you know we had so much fun last time on your hunt we had to get you guys out here again to showcase something different that Montero has to offer and this time it was the, the spiral horn slam for Mike Austin from Treason, your Eland bull, your Kudu bull, your Nyala bull and your Bushbuck ram and uh, oh, we've taken some amazing animals this week all of them top qu uh, trophy quality Obviously our bushbuck genetics are second to none anywhere in the country. Our Nyalas are also massive Nyalas. Our Irland bulls, we put a big one down this morning. And um, yeah, showcasing something different that we have to offer. Obviously we, we were in contact about having the opportunity to bring out Mike, uh, Mike Austin from Treason and with no scent uh, and uh, to host him out here and really showcase some of the, some of the best Plains game hunting that Montero has to offer, which is encapsulated in our in our spiral horn slam package. And yeah, I mean, what fantastic animals that were taken on this hunt. Uh, a lot of walk and stalk. The bush is very thick this year, so we did have to do a little bit of ambush hunting, waiting for them to come out. Uh, but with the with the camos and the scent block, we we really made the most of the walk and stalk as well. And yeah, a fantastic successful hunt once again with Huntech Pro. Um, and Montero Safaris showcasing our, our spiral horned animals. Last time it was a big buffalo for you. And who knows what the future holds? We're going to be doing this for, for many, many years to come. So, guys, stay tuned. Carbon TV uh, giving us this platform and this opportunity to get the message out of what good ethical fair chase hunting looks like and, and how we do it here at Montero Safaris. So, thank you to Johan and Bueller for the opportunity. And um, yeah. So hey, this is Mike with Treason and No Scent. And I'm here at Montero Safaris with Huntech Pro. That's uh, Johan Schmidt, my very good friend, and Viola Schmidt as well. And we're on this very unique property because it's in the Limpopo province, but it borders Botswana, the neighboring country. What runs between them is the Limpopo River. And this property border is bordered by the Limpopo River. So it offers some really incredible hunting opportunities. And we've had those opportunities uh, this week. Uh, I was invited here by Huntech Pro and, and Johan Schmidt to do what's called the Spiral Slam, the South African Spiral Slam, which consists of uh, Nyala Bull, uh, Elan Bull, Bushbuck Bull, and the kudu and uh, we've had an amazing hunt the we didn't have any special order in which we were hunting them we were hunting them 
given the time of day or the certain attributes of the animal. So we were very blessed uh, the first day, I think it was the first day that uh, we were able to, to take down the uh, Nyala. What was really great about that is that it was a walk and stalk and all of our hunts have been walk and stalk. We were able to put a really good stalk on this animal and we're not, we weren't looking just for a particular species, but we were looking for animals that were aged, uh, animals that were older, uh, because this is a conservation project as well as a hunting project. And we want to take animals that have already put their genes into the gene pool and are past their prime. Uh, we're not necessarily looking for, you know, quote unquote trophy animals, but we're looking for those animals that are older. Okay, so we're walking back down to near the Limpopo River. It's on the northern border of South Africa and Botswana. Here at Montero Safaris, just a beautiful property. Got riverfront access. This is where the bushbuck live, also the Nyala that we're stalking. We're gonna walk this riverbed and see if we can't come across that Niala where we're looking for. Huntech Pro is proudly sponsored by Trigger Cap, No Scent, Caliber Rifles Bullets and Innovations, Glow Tech Energy, Grizzly Gear. SSG cases, Nat shoot, CRC clothing and branding, and Vantage Point Archery. Huntech Pro's proud media partners are Game and Hunt Magazine and Arms and Wildlife. Deer's nose is 1,000 times more powerful than the human nose. That means he will smell you way before you ever see him. No Scent is a three-phase scent elimination system that destroys 100% of human odor. Our revolutionary enzyme formula works by fully encapsulating and by attacking and eliminating human odor particles. Our No Scent laundry pods, hair and body wash, and field spray will take 100% of the stink out of you. No Scent. Hunt undetected. Magnum Archery, your partner in tournaments, hunting and anything to do with a bow and arrow. We offer a bespoke string building experience and can service any brand of bow there. We are here to supply you with all your archery needs and keep you up to date with the latest technologies and trends. Bow hunting and target archery, this is our game. At Orban Weapons, we have a dedicated team of professionals that are extremely passionate about firearms. We specialize in custom rifle building, accurizing, customization, repair and general sales of firearms and their related accessories. Each firearm receives our signature attention to detail, met with unique insight gathered through more than 50 years experience as gunsmiths. We look forward to assist you in your firearm needs.
We found that Nyala bull, and uh, he was definitely older. <clears throat> he just happens to be a trophy as well. Beautiful in Yala. You can look at the ivory tips on him. He's an old boy. Oh yeah. He's an old boy. Yeah, thank you, Lord. Beautiful thank bow shape. Beautiful. Beautiful animal. Good shot. Perfect, perfect, perfect shot. You did really well. Congratulations. Oh, thank you again. <laughs> you well, spotted him. I heard something and I the birds were going crazy and that's why yeah. I said let me let me just go and look and he's he's following that in Yala you. And he's in all. Oh, look at how he's losing his hair around his neck. You can start seeing his hip bones. Yeah. Um, he's he's an old he's an old boy. He's an old warrior. Um, beautiful, long, about almost yeah. two inches of ivory tips there. He had no teeth left, and um, he was showing his uh, hip bones and ribs. He was definitely past his prime, and we were able to put one shot on him and drop him and super excited about that hunt. Um, really, really a great hunt. And it, it took a lot of time to do that and we had to be very still. Of course, when you're hunting here in South Africa, there's so many eyes all the way around you. There's, you know, maybe 27 species on this property and probably 26 of them are looking at you. And the whole ecosystem really um, watches out for one another not just the animals but the birds that are you know squawking alarming everything the baboons the fervor monkeys everything is working against you as a hunter but we were very fortunate and diligent uh, to be able to put down the niala bull and very happy about that 
<laughs> Dust proof, crush proof, roll off a mountain strapped to a horse proof. Let's hope nobody else has to prove that one. They're storm proof, trail proof, baggage handler kryptonite. They're completely submerged until you drag your dignity back out of the river proof. In other words, you proof. New vault gun cases by the proven world leader in protection. Pelican, built to protect. Oberholzer Taxidermy strives to portray your hunting trophies in as realistic a state as possible. We give you a trophy that you aren't simply proud of or would like to add to your collection, but also your very own prized piece of Africa along with fond memories of our land. Hunting is an incredibly rewarding sport. Complement your prize with professional taxidermy services at Oberholzer Taxidermy. So the first thing you want to do is you want to give one spray on the bottom of each boot. Real okay. important as you walk, kills whatever odors you picked up. One spray up each leg, that's all it takes. One on your bum, right? And then under your arms is fine. One spray. Take your hat off, real important. One spray here, one on the outside, and that's all you're gonna need. Okay. Oh, you gotta do one on the back. Like yeah that. and all that is going to fall onto your clothes and it's going to last for six hours one two three four five six seven sprays yeah yeah we've been using way too much yeah yeah, <laughs> yeah. good for you though yeah. ah, keep doing good that. for business yeah, keep, you should use twice that it's an honest business that, man, that's right why too. we use 18 bottles in the season yeah, yeah. <laughs> there's 114 sprays in this bottle okay um and that is going to last however many times you know most people go well i just got to douse myself you can it's not going to hurt anything yeah it's not necessary okay but i mean you got billions of enzymes have just been natural enzymes have been released along with the encapsulation technology mm -hmm. so we could take anything anyone spray them down and it takes about three minutes for the enzymes to have their full effect okay but on Hard surfaces like hats and flat surfaces, um, it's instant. Um, I mean, within seconds, it's gone. And it seems like magic, but it's really bioscience. Okay. Um, it's the same type of idea that, you know, we have enzymes in us to help us digest our food. So I couldn't achieve the same thing by slaughtering a goat and offering a sacrifice. No, or, no, no, that's definitely not magic. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> I, know, I mean, I've heard everything from people like I paint myself in turpentine or I I burn a pile of zebra dung, very yeah. popular in this country. You cannot cover a human odor. Mm -hmm. You can add another odor to it, but the deer will, or the animals here will smell the smoke from the zebra dung and you. Yeah. You will not, you have to eliminate odor. You can't cover human odor. These animals have a sense of smell a hundred times keener than a dog. So they'll smell you within, you know, 100 meters mm. or more. And you're, you'll never get a shot, a good shot on a great animal. Mm -hmm. And that's what No Scent does, is gives you the best shot on the best animal possible. The bush buck is like one of the most difficult animals that I've, I personally have ever hunted. And it's difficult because it's very uh, solitary, uh, it's very elusive and given its name, it lives by the bush. It lives by the river. And we're here on the banks of the Lapopo River hunting a Lapopo bush buck. And it's just amazing. So just a quick safety safety yes. briefing, if you don't mind. We do have lone hippo bulls. The main, you can actually hear the main, main channels are probably another about five, 600 yards back that way, but you can hear the rapids. 
Mm -hmm. um, the main pods stay in the mainstream, but we do have lone bulls that move around. That's why Ross is joining us with his, with his double. Uh, but any free water like this, you can see this little, this is where hippo will get in and out. Oh. And assume that any and all water have crocodiles in them especially free low standing water or, or slow moving water you think oh there can't be a crocodile in here that's where the big ones actually hide so try and stay a good half a meter a meter away from the water and if you see a log it's not a log it's, it's a crocodile yep okay Here we are, and this is the Limpopo River, and that's a that's a side little pool coming off the Limpopo River, and this kind of a pool attracts the big crocodiles, the the 50, 60, 70 year old crocodiles, and if you can see behind me, he's made a kill. There's a crocodile here. It's made a kill not long ago. That's a water buck, ironically, in the water and he's made that kill. He'll probably come back here to take care of that kill later. Right beneath me are, is his track, right there. You see that? And he's walked this way. So, I mean, here we are in the most wild place in South Africa, on the banks of Limpopo River, on the border of Botswana at Mount Taira Safaris. And I'm telling you, we're having the time of our life here with Huntech Pro. And we're on this we're on the stock for a, a really proper monster bush buck and again we've seen some animals but we haven't seen the right one yet so stay tuned because i think we're going to find one and we can go there and you can see him properly it's all right there So it's Thursday morning and uh, we're here in the bush. You can see how thick it is all around us. We've been walking back and forth and we found the trail of the bush buck that we're after. But right over here, about 75 meters away, is a herd of impala. And you might hear them blowing. They don't know what we are. They can't really see us well. They can't smell us. They're not running off. But they're kind of busting up our hunt right now. But the good news is they don't smell us because of our no scent and they don't know what we are, so they're not running off. But we're gonna keep going on this trail, super thick in here, but hopefully we're gonna come up on a bush buck that's the ram we're looking for, sunning himself in an open area. But as you can see, it's super thick, thorns everywhere. I don't know if you can see that, but one got me earlier. And uh, we're just gonna keep pressing on. This is the beauty of hunting in the wild on a walk and stalk hunt for a nice bush buck ram. That's him. Okay, he turned in. He's 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 gapping it. And that quay quay but is most likely because he's running past it. But we got good information. He's actually on one of our baits. There's a bait right there. So that's perfect. We're gonna go check the other bait, the last one. Then we're gonna get some silage and re-up re this bait. Pull that camera and put it up here and then get more information, you know? But it's a beautiful ram. It's what we're looking for. Um, one, completely unexpected. One more second. I could have shown yeah, him. Right in the back of the neck, but. That's a stunning ram. We got him, we see him. We know where he is now. He's moved down on the river. Maybe because of all our pressure we've been putting up there. So, yeah, I think what the best thing to do is we'll make, make note of the time, we'll re up this station and um, set up, you know? Yeah. All right, I don't no want to push him out of the yeah. area again. Yeah. You know, we just we yeah. just found him again. Okay. So, Ooh. so Mike, um, we've, we have about nine or ten miles of riverfront, as you know. Uh, we've been looking for the last two days and we saw some promising signs but we actually early this morning spotted a, a, a that looks like a really good uh, ram a good one to take um, but it was on the fly a little bit so we've opted to set out some alfalfa and some uh, silage if you will just and a 
good old trusty trail camera just to uh, uh, spot him properly if you will and get some footage of him to see if he is the right uh, right ram excuse me to take and what we're looking for um, I'm a firm believer that the situation warrants the the action and um, at this stage because we have been struggling a little bit uh, we did shoot like again we did shoot, see a shootable ram uh, i think this is the next natural step and um yeah uh i think it will work let's let's give it a day and yeah. see what we get on the yeah. camera well i'm excited about it because it creates an environment that will attract that good shooter ram that mm. we're looking for i mean we do this a lot in the states uh, to create this environment with food or water or something natural that's going to attract them. And then with the camera right there, you get all the photographs so that you can evaluate it. Maybe what comes here is not what we want to shoot. And we come here in the morning, we see a ram. We might think it's a good ram mm -hmm. and uh, we don't want to shoot the wrong ram. Yeah. So the food situation with the camera over there is going to give us a really good look at what's coming in mm. to this spot as well as give us the best opportunity to harvest the right animal yeah and that's what we're excited about i know you're excited about that 100%. too so this is we really appreciate you going the extra mile at montera to create this environment for the for the hunter because it really is above and beyond um uh, to give us the best opportunity on the best animal 100 percent, and we want to get the the cleanest kill as well you know bush buck is the name bush buck right and he likes the thick stuff so as we are, are recording this and and we're doing it for 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 the um for hunting pro this also gives us the opportunity to get a clean proper shot on him and uh, catch it all on film so we right here on the river banks we're in one of the side estuaries of the limpopo river uh, we're about in the middle of the property um not where we thought we'll see him but right. you know this will give us all the give us all the info we will might attract a hippo as well so. oh that'd be fun <laughs> i mean to have it on camera not be. fun to have it next to us well, that's why we carry big sticks <laughs> <laughs> Get any and all of your Wild Dog 4x4 products today. Visit www.wilddog.co.ca and become part of the pack. To make the big shots, you've got to be ready in tough spots. The new Trigger Stick Gen 3 makes it faster than ever to shoot steadier than ever. With one hand trigger adjustments, a new quick detach yoke for fast switches from optics to gun, and new locking leg angles for full adjustments in any terrain. Be more than rock steady, be shock steady. The new Trigger Stick Gen 3, only from Primos.
I saw the ear moving, but then I couldn't see if it was the fucking name. Okay, that was exciting. You guys hear that bark? Yeah. That's that's how the, how they sound. Montero Safaris is a true African gem and a premier hunting destination for the outdoor enthusiast. Montero Safaris values quality and excellence through giving their clients something different. They focus on giving their clients a real African experience so each individual can make Africa their own. So it's not your plains game animal, it's in the jungle, really, by the river. And we had not only the environment of like bushes and thorns and all that to contend with, and the elusiveness of this solitary animal to contend with, but we also had things hunting us as well. Um, we uh, were in the hippos territory and we had to walk the, the plank as I called it. This dam wall we had to cross was about literally this wide and it was about 80 meters long and we had to walk across it. Now the, the PH Al, Almain said, now don't fall, but if you fall, fall to the right. And I asked him why, and he goes, well, if you fall to the other side, the hippos are there. And I said, oh, so the other side's safe. He goes, well, that's where the crocodiles are. So it's either like, okay, hippos or crocodiles. Um, just don't fall. Just don't fall. Um, so we survived that, but there was a hippo hunting us, and um, and he's only maybe 30 meters away. Oh, yeah. 
pointy pointy. Yeah. If it is a ram, it's just standing in the thicket. But it's time for us to go. Because that hippo got all the water there. What do you think of that? I feel better when I'm across that bridge. <laughs> Damn. This is why we call it the wildest part yeah. of Africa, Southern Africa. And there's still a hippo over there. There's still a hippo over there. Yeah. yeah. Just by the way. And our pH says, time to go, let's wrap it up. So we had to go, but as we were moving through that brush and that Limpopo River, you know, um, topography and everything else, we spotted our bush buck. And it had been our experience for several days that you really, and I'm not exaggerating, you have three, maybe five seconds to see the animal, identify that it's a shooter, and then take the shot. So, Mr. Mike, we are back early morning where we left off yesterday afternoon, going over to the, the island there. We did shoot, see a nice shootable ram. Um, we're back, the sun's on our on our backs, and uh, let's quickly just walk down this river bank and see if we okay. can't see him again, and uh, hopefully get you on a on a beautiful bu uh, bush bar. Yeah, yeah. Well, we'll see what the bush gives us, right? That's the thing. That's all the right. Thing. Let's, let's go get at it. it. Shoulder, get ready. It's going to okay. be a quick shot. Okay. Get ready, Mike. Good shot, Mike. He dropped shot. right there. <laughs> good shot, good shot. Sir. Oh, he dropped right there. Beautiful, beautiful bush buck. Uh, beautiful representation. Um, yeah, he dropped, dropped right there. A <laughs> good quick shot. Woo! Well done, well done. We'll give him about oh. five minutes and we'll go have a look. Man, we've worked for this thing for <laughs> days, 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 Day and four. then it happens like that. It's fantastic. It's fantastic. That's why we say take what the bush offers. Yeah. Take what the bush offers. And this beautiful morning with the sun behind us, nice and brisk. Oh. Finally got the job done. Oh, well wow. done, sir. Oh, I can't wait to see him. Well done. All right. Thank you. Thank you. We were able to spot a mature bush buck uh, that would give us a good ethical shot. And we threw up the sticks. I took the shot and he went down. And uh, that was after days and days of, of hunting the bush buck and having no success. Because every time we'd see him, and he's gone. You know, they go, there he is, and he's gone. 
Ah, so frustrating. But you know, persistence is part of hunting. And it's it, one of the challenges that I know I have, and, and probably others, is just managing my emotions during the hunt. Because you spend weeks and weeks and weeks preparing, you spend countless hours, you know, you know, practicing, and then, you know, you get here, this beautiful scenery in South Africa, and you've put all this energy, all this time, and some resources into it too, and then you just come up short, you come up short, you come up short, you come up short. And it's, it can get very frustrating, but part of hunting is not just, you know, managing, you know, your, your scent elimination and your, your, your camo to break up your patterns, but it's, it's in here, right? You have to manage your emotions, you have to manage your thoughts so you don't become discouraged and become defeated. And we were, we were really blessed to manage our emotions as well as our environment and uh, put a really beautiful old uh, bush buck on the ground. Very successful. This ram is a, is a super ram because he's old. A super ram we refer to like uh, over 17 inches. He is obviously not 17 inches, but he's so old. He's actually gone bald. He has no hair in his neck. He has no hair on this, sh this shoulder. Um, yeah, he is beautiful. He's old, old, old. Look at the scars on his face. T4 almost done. It's actually an absolutely phenomenal animal. It's the Malut Ma Mafusala again, or uh, I think I'm pronouncing it yeah. incorrect. But Mafusala. Mafusala. Taking out the weak, the old, and the skinny, yes. you know? Well done. Congratulations. <laughs> Congratulations. All right. Well, thank well you. Done. You guys have persisted with me all this time, so thanks so much. Um, he's got beautiful spots on his hind. Uh, just thankful that we were able to, I mean, it happens like lightning it fast. real quick, yeah. Just nothing, nothing, nothing for four days. And then 20 seconds later, here, here we, we are. Here we are, yeah. He's yeah. absolutely stunning. He is a, like they would say, uh, the locals would say Madala. It means uh, old one, you know, yeah. like a grandfather. He, he's a medalla. He's you can actually start seeing the white through the horn. It, it's it's normally we'll look for those ivory tips like they're in the right. This is actually bone starting to to show on that little tip there. So that's that's an absolutely beautiful bush bug. Yeah. Congratulations once again, sir. Congratulations. Well <laughs> Thank done. you. Thank Good you. Good shooting. Good shooting. Yeah. So we have worked super hard for really four days walked this you know the banks of the Popo River back and forth seen him several times yes. and never able to get a shot on him no. but this morning this is our morning this is our morning yeah. this is our morning awesome So our next species that we were uh, hunting uh, was on the spiral slam was the elin bull. The elin bull is um, the largest antelope in the antelope species. They can weigh, you know, upwards of a thousand pounds. They are massive. And for as big as they are, they are incredibly elusive. They have their own patterns. They don't act like other animals. 
They don't walk uh, during the times of the day that other animals walk. Um, so it's a very tricky hunt. And uh, we were out scouting. And uh, as we were out scouting, we actually found a couple, a, a group, a bachelor group of bulls. They weren't close. They were about 250 yards, I think it was, uh, from where we were. And we, the wind was not good for us and the sun was not in a good position. Um, we were gonna have a very hard time walking and stalking. But I could see the bull very clearly, uh, unobstructed. And I talked to Johan and I talked to Almin, uh, uh, our, our PH, and I said, I've, I've got that shot, I've got that shot. So I'm shooting a 308 rifle uh, with a really great Bushnell scope, and uh, he put up the sticks. I felt comfortable with the shot. Um, I took the shot, and one shot brought the bull down. All right. That looked really, really good. Look good? It Look looked good? really, really good. I could see him take the shot. We'll give him some time, but it looked really, really good. Good wow. shot, good shot. Mr. I could Lock. hear the impact. You could hear that. Yeah. Doop. You could hear it solid. He reacted beautifully. <laughs> Big, safe. beautiful bull. Good shot. We'll give him a little bit of time and then we'll go look at him. Awesome. Good Thank shot, you, sir. Wife. Good shot. <laughs> Congratulations <laughs> on a beautiful Yolan. He's down for the car. That is a beast of a bull. Oh, thank Good you, tracking, Eddie, Eddie Ollie. Ollie. Good thank tracking, you. guys. Yeah. You had a little bit, but he's a big animal, so yeah. congratulations. Yeah. Let's go take a look at him. Now, this is a, my first Elon bull here at Montero Safaris. Again, thank you, Hunt Tech Pro, Johan Schmidt. This is amazing. This is a big old chunk of animal. These guys behind you, they're going to work really hard for the next hour. <laughs> Congratulations, sir. That's a beautiful. Give you the rifle, so it's unsafe, it's but unsafe. there is one in the pipe. Go have a look. He's a stud. Holy cow. Look at this. Thank you, Lord, for what a great animal. Really, there's my, my shot right there. This guy is just an old warrior. He's got nice chevron right here. Beautiful color, worn horns. He's old. He's just an amazing animal. Great, great species, great animal to take. Older, mature. He's already put his genes in the gene pool. He's a stud. This is a stud. This is what we've been after for four days, right? Four days. Four yes, <laughs> days we've been after this guy. And you you, know, you, you led me right to him. Uh, 
250 meters, something like that. 250 shot. yard shot. Yes. Shot, and uh, we're able to put it right on the on, on the, the button. button. There yeah. we go. So, man, Montero Safaris. Once again. Thank you, Almin. It's Thank a big you. pleasure, sir. Yep. Now it's the the story to get him out of here. Yeah, because yeah. <laughs> if you look around us, we are just hemmed in with all this brush and everything else. And um, I'll hold the rifles if you put them on your back. Oh, I'll do that for it's you. It's too easy. So yeah, I know, right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it was a magnificent bull. I mean, just an incredible bull old bull, a bull that had put his genes into the gene pool again, a bull that was really past his prime, and uh, a bull that didn't have a lot of years, if any years, left on him. So we were super happy about that. And um, put a good shot on him. We walked the 250 meters uh, to where he was standing when I pulled the trigger, and we found him just a few meters later. And uh, this particular hunt on the Elam Bull turned out great. We're, we're trying to acquire the um, South African Spiral Slam. We've got the, the Nyala Bull. We got the Elam Bull. We got the Bushbuck Bull. Ram, <laughs> and uh, now we're after Kudu Bull. And we've been hunting the Kudu Bull, the gray ghost for days, literally almost a week now, and coming up short every single day. Um, not the right animal, not the right shot opportunity, just, just challenging, right? And uh, we had to manage our emotions, um, just push through some of our frustrations and be persistent. And I'm so happy to that Montero Safaris and, and Al Main, my PH, and Johan Schmidt from Hunt Tech Pro that we real they really worked with me on this because you can get discouraged in this type of a thing. And um, I, it was the last day, last day um, here in South Africa. We got one last hunt in the afternoon and uh, one last time to go after them, and we did. We had been seeing some in the in the right area, uh, but we just couldn't get a, uh, a shot on them. But this last afternoon, um, it was our time. We saw a really good bull, the one we were after, um, a good, a mature bull uh, that was ready to be harvested, and we were able to put a stalk on him, able to take uh, a really good ethical shot on him, uh, and uh, was able to put him down. The mic. All right. <laughs> good job. All right. That concludes our spiral slam. Thank you very much. It was fantastic yeah. hunting with you, a lot of fun.
and it's a beautiful animal. It's Man. a management animal, like we spoke. But yes, that's 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 no. what hunting. Hunting is not always taking the biggest trophies, that's but right. taking the right trophies. Right, and this was the right one for us, the right day. On the last, last day, day. <laughs> <laughs> last hour. Yeah. We're going to get on a plane here in just a minute, but man, thank you so much. Thank you to you, Almain, for Monterra Safaris, Huntech Pro, Beulah, and Johan Schmidt. I mean, it's just been a great, a great hunt here at Monterra Safaris. Well, I'm glad you enjoyed it so well done. Well done. Thank you. Let's go get him. Let's go get him. And good job, sir. Beautiful leg shot. What we had. We're in the thicket, and a uh, beautiful shot dropped him right where he was standing. Awesome. Good job, sir. Thanks again. Good job. <laughs> All right. When we got to that last ball, uh, it was just really rewarding uh, to be able to do it in such a, uh, an ethical way. Um, we didn't take unethical shots. We didn't take unnecessary risks. Uh, we waited. We waited to the last minute. Um, and it paid off. So because I'm here with Johan Schmidt of Huntech Pro here at Monterra Safaris, what an incredible place. We were able to put together a very, very unique hunt and acquire the South African Spiral Slam. Super thankful and grateful for Treason, No Scent. Um, just the opportunity to do this is uh, once in a lifetime and just tremendously tremendously grateful so thank you very much to everybody so here we are at the end of a fantastic hunt once again with uh, Huntech Pro and uh, Mr. Mike from uh, Treason USA uh, Mike joined us along with Yuan and Beulah Smith from Huntech and we we decided to take down the spiral horn slam so we do have all the big trophy animals uh, uh, wandering around and, and the availability is here and we have plentiful, plentiful high numbers of game of all four species. But we decided to take what the bush offers and the bush really offered all the weak, the sick and the old. And I sit here with pride and I know Mike is quite also proud about it. The, the animals that we did harvest, we took at the end of the cycle, if you will, and um, it doesn't do any negative impact onto the breeding, uh, breeding population. And I think that's something that has to be said. A lot of people think trophy hunters are just out there to kill the prime, the biggest, the strongest. Yes, we do. But we also focus on the weak, the sick and the old. And that is more of a trophy. I think it is more, you can say it with more pride that you took an animal at the end of its life cycle, you took an animal at the end of his prime. He had his opportunity to uh, procreate and, and uh, uh, further his gene pool, but taking out the old, the sick and the weak re releases pressure off of the breeding herds. And I think we can say with pride what we accomplished here at Montero Safaris is a proper ethically hunted spiral horn slam from hunting the mighty Limpopo River uh, right across the Botswana border of the Thule National Park being chased by hippos all the way up to hunting in the dry river beds in the southern part of the property where we walked into a, a leopard on its kill. Um, I think that's the trophy. That is the trophy that you take home is the experience and the animals that you mount on your wall uh, that's a remembrance of that experience and I think that's what we truly offer here at Monterra is an experience. We don't sell hunts, we don't sell inches, we sell experiences. And I would like to enjoy, I'd like to invite, excuse me, anyone that wants to have a proper hunting experience to come to Monterra Safaris and make Africa your own. Hunting is never easy and when you persevere, you will reap the benefits. Join us on the next episode where the adventure continues at Montero Safaris. To watch Huntex episodes or to find out more about their sponsors and destinations visit their website and follow them on their social platforms to stay up to date.